What is going on everybody and welcome back to our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I'm excited because today we are taking on the, our second gym, plus we have our rival battle right after that. Now to get uh, kind of prepped for all that, we did of course have a little bit of a grinding session. I actually don't know at this point if that grinding session was recorded properly. Uh, I'm kind of recording right after, so if it's not in the video, I do apologize, but we will go over the team regardless. Uh, I basically got everything up to level 18 except for Daryl, and um, we'll talk about why in just a second. But to start us off, we have Martiz, our level 18 Kadabra. Did learn Disable, uh, but still sitting with Teleport and Confusion at this point. Uh, an amazing special attacker, obviously, just hitting things with Confusion is like the easy way out, uh, and I love it. So, very happy there. Mike, our Steelix with Tackle, Screech, Bind, and Rock Throw. Nothing new here, just super bulky, of course. Our newest member. Uh, replacing Rebecca, sadly, but Powerhouse is here with Gust, Powder, Snow, and we did learn Mist. Not that that's super helpful, but uh, holy crap, uh, I love Articuno. So I am super happy to have Powerhouse on the team today. We do have Daryl sitting at level 16, very close to evolving. Level 20, I believe, is when we get Tyrogue to evolve. Sitting with Tackle still. Uh, obviously, that could change this episode, and I'm kind of hoping it does, but we will see. Uh, we've got Lover, our Magneton, uh, with Tackle, Thundershock, Supersonic, and uh, Sonic Boom. Pretty standard moveset at the beginning, but very, very strong. Uh, and then I believe last but not least, we have Varen, our for Alligator with Scratch, Leer, Rage, and Water Gun. And that is the entire team, guys. I love our team uh, a lot. Now, I trained up to level 18, and I do want to explain why, because, again, just as a reminder, if you do not know, we do have that 10% level modifier on everything uh in terms of trainers pokemon so i was a little worried because the team rocket thing while it wasn't like super scary uh they did have some decently strong pokemon and i just wanted to make sure we weren't going to just get molly whopped by something that the opponent has here or the uh the gym leader has so we're doing the best we can we're doing the best we can. We got a for alligator here, sitting at level 11, not a problem. I am gonna swap out. I'm still training Daryl, of course, uh, switch training Daryl. I do wanna get Daryl leveled up and evolved uh, because at that point we will have just another really solid Pokemon on our team. Our team is looking insanely good. Um, we have got such a great core. And now with the addition of Articuno, uh, or excuse me, Powerhouse, we're just sitting very, very pretty at the moment. Uh, and I love that because hopefully, hopefully, uh, this should be a really, really solid start to the Nuzlocke. Uh, obviously sitting here at the second gym, we've still got a long way to go. So I am expecting that hopefully we can stick around for a while with this team, um, but we will, we will see, we will see. Uh, as a reminder, guys, as we are finishing up this first battle, uh, I just want to say huge thank you to everybody for supporting this series. You guys have been incredible on this series, commenting on most videos, that kind of thing. Please keep it up. It means a lot to us. Uh, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy uh, this episode or, you know, in any of the previous episodes. Um, it really does mean a lot. And so please make sure, you know, if you do enjoy this stuff, you're, you're showing your love because it makes a huge difference. Uh, more than you know, <laughs> I will say. All right, one individual down, or two, technically, but this is our second tier. Uh, we got Bugcatcher Pansy, aw, uh, and it's a Geodude. Well, again, thankfully, we have type coverage for days, and that's kind of the, the great thing about our team is that we are just so well set up against almost anything. Um, it's pretty ridiculous, uh, and especially having that ice type in Articuno, we now have an answer for, like, dragons, which are extraordinarily difficult to find answers to sometimes. So I'm very happy to say that we are uh, very well positioned. Hopefully not too over leveled. Um, I'm, I, didn't, I don't think we are, to be honest. I, I think we'll be okay, but um, obviously we've got this big gym battle and then the, the rival after, and I'm kind of expecting them to start pushing the, the 20s here. Um, I might be wrong. I didn't look it up. I just didn't. I just figured, you know what? We're, we're just gonna go with it. Another Geo dude. Interesting. Okay. Well, easy experience. So let's go ahead and knock these guys out. Also, guys, we are uh, about halfway there at this point. But once we get to the point where Pokemon are level 30, 
I did force fully evolve everything. Uh, and what that does long term is just say that, you know, if a Pokemon was randomized to like a Caterpie uh, in the Elite Four, at least at this point now, it will be a Butterfree, not just a Caterpie. Because uh, I didn't want to just get like, I, I mean, you know, that's a little, that's a little cheesy. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that we were giving ourselves a bit of a challenge, uh, which I think we did, uh, but we will see. Uh, I'm actually going to swap out into Martiz here. Um, but this might get Daryl another level, which is kind of nice. Uh, just in terms of like making it usable, making Daryl usable, because I do really like uh, Daryl a lot, but sitting it with just tackle and like absolute garbage every step, <laughs> um, I, I just don't see him being super usable until we evolve him. So. Unfortunately, we didn't give it, get him up to level 18 yet, but we're working on it. We're working on it. All right. Only like two more battles to go, guys, and we are sitting perfectly fine at this point. So hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, this is a safe uh, gym battle for us, but we will see. All right. Electabuzz is cool. I uh, actually really like Electabuzz. I would have rather had that than Magneton, I'm not going to lie, but... But... Um, Magneton's really good. Like, the fact that it's so bulky as well just makes it such a good mod for our team. We've got a very bulky team with some of our Pokemon, I will say. I mean, between Mike and Magneton, we're, we're sitting pretty good on the bulk side of things. Um, and then we've got some, some decent attackers with Martiz, of course. Um, and then hopefully once Daryl does evolve, we'll have a good physical attacker as well. So look at that, we've got just a super rounded team. All right, a Marowak is, whoa, pretty good actually. Um, let's go ahead and swap into Varen and knock this thing out. Part of this also was that I knew I would be switch training. Um, and so being a little bit higher leveled makes it not, e well, easier, to be honest. I just didn't want to lose anything in that switch training process. Um, not that we would risk it, but like, if we if we start switch training and just die on the switch in, that feels kind of bad. So, uh, felt like it was worth it. All right. Last Pokemon. Ooh, and it's a Nido King. Holy crap. Um, all right, Daryl, let's do it. A uh, little worried about like Thrash. I don't know how likely it is to have Thrash actually. And they just have like Poison Sting. I'm gonna go to Varen. Again, Martiz would easy one shot this, but I just don't wanna risk Martiz given the low defenses. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna water gun this thing. Still super effective. <laughs> Might knock it out. Yeah, look at that. Varen, you sweetheart, you. All right, Varen almost level 19. That is crazy. Okay, uh, so the question becomes, do we wanna heal or do we just wanna go for it? I'm feeling risque today. So we're gonna go for it. Bugsy is here, guys. Let's see if we can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us. I hope you believe in us because I think we can do this. Uh, look at Bugsy. Sailor Joe. Oh, wow. Speaking of Caterpie. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, this is a bit of a an overkill, but we're gonna swap into Powerhouse and show off the majesty that is Powerhouse because holy crap is this thing ridiculous. All right, let's gus this thing. Powerhouse was knocking everything out in like one shot and it was kind of ridiculous because there was some good stuff in training um all right a deli bird oh that's really funny um shady penguin is here everybody look at him he looks way fatter on my screen than he does on the recording side of things because I had to like stretch things and uh it's kind of funny because <laughs> he looks real fat <laughs> he still looks a little pudgy on the on the layout that's really funny okay good thing it's not very effective uh let's thundershock this present is kind of oh my gosh okay that was a little scary we it's level 18 i just realized what level this thing was oh lover holy crap all right that was really good uh I'm very happy with that. Okay, it's good we got to level 18. <laughs> um, let's go back into Daryl. We swatch, we switch trained, swatch trained. We swatch trained. 
We switch trained the entire time and we, uh, I think are gonna make it out no problem. Let's go into Powerhouse and let's take this thing down. Uh, thankfully, Powerhouse also takes care of a really important weakness, uh, which is not weakness necessarily, but a really important typing, which does take out grass types because we don't have a fire type. We don't have any way to, to truly deal with them. And now we finally do with a flying type. Uh, not to mention if we just get like fly later on down the road or something, which we will, of course, uh, assuming we make it that far, we got the high badge. Um, then hopefully, hopefully powerhouse will still be around and we can, uh, we can just fly around instead of having to walk everywhere. TM 49 mega horn. I think, I don't actually think that's mega horn. Let's see what it is. We have a lot of TMs. Oh, it is actually mega horn. Wow. Who can learn Megahorn, just out of curiosity? Daryl and Veron. I'm gonna say neither one of them. We could teach Low Kick to, uh, I, and I thought about teaching Low Kick to Daryl, but I don't think actually that's important to do at the moment because very soon, in like two levels, his whole moveset is gonna change. So like, I fully expect that that will not be an issue. If it's Hitmonlee, I feel like for, for the sake of flavor, we kind of have to teach low kick guys that is our second gym badge down we officially have the hive badge uh and the next step is truly just we're gonna check this house really quick but then the next step is honestly just to just to fight our rival i'm a little scared i'm not gonna lie um we should be okay we should be okay but uh, we're just powering through all right will is here everybody let's do this all right, I'm scared. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. We will obviously get our encounter in the forest as well. That probably will be the final piece of this episode, but we will see a Larvitar. Oh, look at that. Level 13, not a problem. We can deal with that. We can deal with a level 13 Larvitar. Varen, come on out. Let's go ahead and wrap this battle up as soon as it gets started. All right, water gun it. Get it out of here. Not even a problem. Uh, all right, done, easy, step one, done. What is next? A Parasect, this is the Parasect. Uh, I'm not gonna take chances. I'm gonna go straight into Powerhouse here. Yeah, it's level 18. The reason being, um, this thing obviously is gonna have status ailments and I don't feel like, I don't feel like having to deal with that on Powerhouse. Holy crap, okay. <laughs> Not that we're surprised, it's an Articuno, but my goodness. Okay, and a horsey, great. Uh, Daryl, come on out, we're gonna swap. Level 15 horsey, oh, it's so cute. Look at that horsey, that's adorable. Uh, lover, come take care of this real quick. This is, maybe we overtrained slightly, not gonna lie. We probably overtrained slightly, but you know what? We're just well set up to hopefully not have to have a grinding montage for the next few episodes, which I'll be honest, in terms of editing is way easier, but we beat Will. Look at that, a gym badge and a rival battle down. We are just knocking stuff off the list right and left. We're going to strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group, but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. He's so hateful. Will, stop being hateful, buddy. Just have fun. We're here to have fun. We're here to have a good time. All right, let's go into Lover. The good thing about Lover is Lover knows Sonic Boom. Uh, let's double check our Pokeball situation. We got plenty. And this is it, guys. We get another encounter. Chances are we will not be adding it to the party unless it's just something ridiculous, but we will see. Honestly, we can actually push through this forest a little bit too. We've got some time to play with. Uh, we do have to get the little Farfetch puzzle going. I hate these far-fetched puzzles. They're so annoying to me. All right. Oops. Let's get this item. A poison barb. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we need to go around the other way. We'll see. This is our encounter, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. We should catch it for the simple fact this might kill it. If it kills it, I don't really care. Okay. Realistically, we should catch it just in case 
uh, we find one later on, uh, we don't want to be stuck having to catch it because of dupes. So if you don't know what the dupes clause is, it just basically says, and species clause actually, if you see the same Pokemon that you've already caught later on as your encounter, you get to re-encounter. Additionally, if you find, like if we found a Magnemite, we can re-encounter because it's species clause and we already have a Magneton. Um, so it just means that you're not getting the same Pokemon all the time. Now we have the right to ignore that. Hey, we got Sunkern. I also, because I suck, I didn't even really plan ahead for an encounter in this episode. So let's, let's find a patron relationship manager. What are you? You're a male Sunkern. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go Scott. Scott. I love it, man. Scott Drury, uh, thank you so much for being a patron, my friend. We really do appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you don't know, the, the way we are naming our Pokemon in this uh, playthrough is from Patreon, so if you would like to be named after a Pokemon, please check out the link. You do not have to subscribe by any means, but we would certainly appreciate it. Uh, the link for that is down below. We could have had an Entei. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. We got a Sunkern and there were freaking Entei in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. Just because I don't think it has any good moves, but like it is super effective against us. That's so stupid. We could have had an Entei. Not that we probably would have caught it, but like, come on. All right, we're getting there. I feel like this takes way too long. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. I don't remember which one we have to talk to. Okay, this guy. Well, this will be perfect. We'll get through this forest. We'll end it. Oh, burger. Oh, that's really sad. We could have had burger back. Um, instead, we got a sunkern, which don't get me wrong, Scott. I'm happy to have you on the on the the playthrough, but. I really don't like Sunkern very much, I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, we have HM number one, which is cut, which means we can get through this forest. So, uh, and get ourselves all the way to Goldenrod City, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's do this. Oh, we also have Flash. I don't even remember getting Flash, I'll be honest. Um, all right, who do we want to learn? It might be Varon. Um, yeah, I think it's Varen. I mean, Varen's really good, but it's very much just a water aggressive, you know, attacker. So like, I'm okay with teaching it cut. Um, as much as I hate teaching HMs to like the starters, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. All right. Oh, we could have played Crystal and gotten Celebi. Um, granted, I guess we could still get Celebi. It's randomized. I'm smart. All right. All right, stop throwing this in our face. We know we lost Burger. Burger has been eaten. It's fine. Cool Burger, we miss you. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, that might be a hidden item, but I don't really care. I do, but it's all right. Scott! <laughs> Scott, leave us alone. <laughs> oh. Honestly, Sunkern's pretty cute. I just don't like Sunkern very much. Like, it's not a very strong mon for a Nuzlocke. Now this, on the other hand, would have been humongously strong. Uh, but here we are. Just running away. Honestly, you know what we need to be doing? Uh, we need to put Mike out front and, like, see if Mike can take some stuff out here. Uh, I mean, he can definitely take out a Sunkern. I'm not going to go to the Move Tutor. I believe it's just Headbutt, although, honestly, Headbutt could be really helpful. There were Nido Queen in here. Uh, oh, I swapped Mike out front. Whoops. All right, that's fine. Now nah, we'll skip it. We'll just go for this. All right, let's... Hidden item? One time? No. Okay. It's just a little lane for Headbutting. All right. Another Nido Queen, man. We really got the the worst possible encounter in here, unfortunately. Um, Nido Queen would have been pretty awesome. Entei would have been really awesome. If this is an Entei, just to rub it in our face one more time, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, it's Scott. All right. You know what? Because of that little face, I, I'm not upset. All right. 
Guys, we are we are there. We are to Goldenrod City. We got one little route above here that we are going to go through, but this is going to be it. We're going to kick off the next episode with some battles and an encounter, uh, and then we've got some decisions to make because there's a lot we can do in Goldenrod City. We've got the radio tower, the gym, uh, and then there's a lot of battles and encounters above it as well. So hopefully the next episode will be just as action-packed as this one. We had a lot of big battles this time, getting our second gym badge and leveling up our team. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Please make sure you leave a like or a comment down below. Again, that makes a huge, huge difference. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, yeah, that'll be it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you very, very soon for another episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I'll see you guys then.